90.5 The Night. Our old friend Shannon McNally has stopped by to join us this evening. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. How are you? Welcome back. Good. Thank you. Good. Tonight, 90.5 The Night is presenting you at the Saint, the Venerable Saint in Asbury Park. Yes. A place that uh, obviously you like to keep coming back to, Mm -hmm. which is fine. I'm sure uh, a lot of people appreciate that, us included. Scott from the Saint included. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tonight should be a lot of fun. It's uh, the only local show for uh, a while. Uh, it's the only local show in a while. In New Jersey. And for yeah. a while, yeah. Yeah, well, I did a couple shows in New York City. Mm-hmm, yeah. About, was that last week? Uh, yeah. I think there was yeah, about uh, a week ago. Fez, yeah. Fez and Shanae. Been in the Northeast for a couple weeks. I was up in Woodstock and Boston and... Northampton, down in Philadelphia, and uh, so tonight I'm in. This is the last night of this oh, cool. this particular run, Asbury Park. So we'll have some fun. Yeah. And uh, you're uh, you're out with a new album. Uh huh. So to speak, self release. Well, not so to speak. It is an album. No, it's an album. It's a real album. Yeah. It's just you put it in the CD player and press play. <laughs> you're gonna get music. <laughs> Hopefully, if you put it in the right way. Exactly. Um, but uh, it's self released. Self-produced. Which, which self-produced, self-financed, I'm guessing. Self-financed, self-released, <laughs> some self-distributed, the whole nine yards. Something. Uh, it's a something, craft industry. Yes. Something to keep us uh, appeased between major label releases. Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was well, entirely some, selfish, actually. I, well, no, I can only imagine how much, uh, how frustrating it's, I mean, it's been a while now since Jukebox Barrows. Yeah. And uh, Geronimo, the... The long-touted follow-up right. is uh, still waiting somewhere. It's in jail somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think we'll come back and uh, talk a bit about that because we want to try and uh, get a few songs in here tonight okay. without without taxing you before no. tonight's show. No, it takes so. a lot to tax <laughs> when it comes to singing and playing. Ah, uh, yes. So uh, I don't know if you want to do something from uh, Run for Cover or Geronimo or... Well, um, Whatever the heck I you feel want. like playing some some original material. Okay. Run for cover, of course, is all, is all covers. Is all the songs written by American songwriters, uh, aside from myself. So yeah, <laughs> so I may I play some some of my new material? Okay, because you have run for cover, so this you can play tr- that. This is true. All right. Okay. All right. So um, let's see. This is called the wedding song. very fond of songs that we been moan I'm like the others I've wandered in search of my home and I want to be close to you babe near to you my lover man See the joy you're bringing me In you I found a source I careful not to drain dry I dip my cup, lick my lips, your water
blood left alone with it all. This game they call fear, the object is to listen, not to hear. Here I go. Five, the Nights. That's a new one. That's the wedding song. Shannon McNally is our guest. My name is Jeff Raspi here at 90.5 The Nights. The new album yes. is Run for Cover, which we said is all yes. covers. And actually, you made the point of saying all American songwriters, which I actually all hadn't American. noticed. Yes, all American songwriters. They're all, um, 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 they're all, I think, foundational American roots songwriters. They laid the groundwork for everything we call roots music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we there are a couple of tracks that the we've pure, been playing. They're at the pure. They're right on the bone. They're mm-hmm. pure. A couple of the tracks that we've been playing uh, so far here are uh, one of the Sam Cooke tunes, because mm-hmm. you do two. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> you can't ever do too much <laughs> Sam Cooke. <laughs> and uh, the Gillian Welch song yeah. actually is one of yeah. the other ones we've been playing. Uh-huh. And uh, sure to be followed by several others. Um, mm-hmm. But the fact that you pointed out that they're all American songwriters made me think of Katie Lang's new album, which oh, I haven't heard probably yet. haven't heard yet, I but he, heard. she called it Hymns of the 49th Parallel well, there you because go. it's all Canadian There you go. songwriters. Well, North America, you know, I think that uh, everybody keeps asking me what genre of, you know, what genre mus- artist uh, am I, and I don't know. I don't fit into any <laughs> art. I don't fit into any genre purely. You know, I go down to play in Georgia and they say, Oh, you're you're not country and, <laughs> you know, you go play a real a pure folk place and they say, Well, you're you're not really a folk artist and go, I am not a pure blues artist mm-hmm. and I'm not pure rock and roll and um you know, so I'm not any pure uh I'm not any one genre, so um but I think that if you uh look at the writers on that record they're coming from divergent points, and they're all meeting at the same spot. They're all, they all wrote these very simple yet powerful songs, and you know, three chords in the truth. Yeah, I mean, and that's did, did you um, did you know all of these songs beforehand, or did you go did you decide one day I'm going to do a, an album of uh, American songs and and then go search for some. No, I didn't have to search for him at all. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> I think I'd been wanting to sing those songs for a long time and have them in my, you know, just have them in my vocabulary. Well, there, I, I remember distinctly when uh, I ran into you with Rufus Wainwright down at the Strand Theater, and mm-hmm. it, you hadn't released it yet. You were talking about it. We were it waiting on it, yeah. You were all excited about the <clears> fact <throat> that uh, there were two Sam Cooke songs on it. Yeah. I think me and the stage manager were the ones you were Ellen or the road manager, Rufus's yeah. road manager. Well, it's just, it's so fun. I mean, the guys that played this is just uh, three other musicians and myself. And uh, <clears throat> um, we went into a studio in New Orleans and uh, cut it in a day. Made the record, whole record in 12 hours. Old school. Old school. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to just get, you know, this idea of making a record that takes, you know, a year or two and a million dollars is just... It's pure poppycock. <laughs> <laughs> you really, you don't need that. The best records of all times were made, you know, in as long as it took to play the song. I was, I was going to say, maybe barely longer than it took yeah, to play them. Yeah, in yes. as long as it took to play the song. And, uh, you know, 
since since you can't really uh you know i don't think you can really improve on that you know yeah I you mean, know? well i mean i think that's cause i mean pe- there's all kinds of, i don't mean to say that that's the only way to do anything it's just i wanted to see uh, I had, was going through so many big, huge changes in my life that, you know, it was like, well, what kind of musician am I? You know, what, what's the, at the at the end of the day? You know, what do I, what do I want to, what do I want to be? And I want to be one of those people. I want to be one mm-hmm. of those musicians who can go in a studio with a with several, you know, with musicians that I enjoy playing with and come out with good music. In just over in, the in, amount in, of time it takes. Yeah, and to just play go them, in and yeah. do it. Don't overthink it. Don't overplay it. Don't over worry about it. Don't, don't you know? Don't, don't write the marketing it. plan don't, before yeah. you write the song. Because mm-hmm. I know um, a number of people say to me, uh, some of them who had heard Jukebox Sparrows first, and others who had seen you perform live yeah. first, that it's always the performing live side of it. I mean, as good a record as Jukebox Sparrows is. Right. The performing live side of you is what people remember and and what people uh, really connect with. Yeah, I think a little bit of that got you know squished out of me in the process of making the record. I mean, Half a Jukebox Sparrows is pretty live actually. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Colorado. It could have been me. There's not. There's very little overdubbing on in those songs. Um, um, and the rhythm tracks on all of them. The rhythm tracks were gotten in a, you know in a sitting one cool. pass. But um, and I think that's what saved the record from being overproduced uh, in this way that otherwise wouldn't have had anything to do with me, you know. But being a fledgling artist and being in the heart of the belly of the beast, you know, it's like you you can't really say. It, well, you can say it, well, and can. I did. But you know, you still you kind of get out foxed, you know. You don't know everything, so you do get out foxed. And you take chances, and and you want to trust people, and you want to you know listen to other people who have more experience right. than you. Visions and missions in the wind. I want the vote. Shone soft parade. Now I'm picking garbage. True sages trade. Want every battle but lost. Dead me to reach for Dead me to know So I drove that car Just as slow as it would go Listening for the sound Of my last hope hit the ground Want everybody Take more than I had Your greedy treaties and your rubber bag You may have won every battle But lost the war I only did what I knew Simple math, nothing more, nothing less If you hadn't told Never would have guessed How hungry was your hate How she was my Take more than I had 
your greedy treaties and your rubber bags. You may have won every battle, but you lost the war. You may have won every battle, but you lost. Point five the night. Jeff Raspy here with Shannon McNally. That is uh, the future title song to an album called Geronimo. Called Geronimo. <laughs> <laughs> now, which w- without what? jinxing it or anything, is there anything you can tell us about the the future of Geronimo? Uh, no, it's all very vague right now. Okay, but uh, I do perform a lot. I perform all the songs, and uh, you know, um, material is out there, and. Uh, you know, you got to come out to the shows. It was a great record to make. Charlie Sexton produced it. Oh, that's right. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. yeah. He did a wonderful job. He was excellent to work with. And um, I had a great time. It was an all-star cast again. Different bunch of guys. But mm-hmm. uh, Ian McCloggan um, from the Rolling Stones and the Faces. Um, Tony Hall and Tony Garnier. Uh, a great drummer named Raymond Weber. Uh, mostly he's a, in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Guy, he plays on the Run for Cover record mm-hmm. too, and uh, oh, he's just—he's a—he's pure, he's pure poetry. He's gorgeous. Well, that, it, am I remember correctly? Are are some of the people on Run for Cover from Ivan's band? Uh, the rhythm section. Ivan Neville's band. It's yeah. yeah the only one missing is Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh, you know, but the only guy missing is Ivan. Yeah. Well, that's very cool. Yeah. His last record was fantastic. Oh, Ivan. Ivan Neville is he's he's wonderful. Yeah. I w- I wanted him on this record too. It just didn't work out that one day, you know. I had no idea it was going to happen that day, you know. Right. I hoped it was going to be a record, but I wasn't really sure if it was something I was going to end up releasing or not, you know. <laughs> but it was just going to be fun for a day and Exactly. Exactly. It was the well, the rhythm section and then my friend David Easley, who's a brilliant pedal steel player and myself. So, it was cool. scaled back. Yeah, you sure. you've made a fine habit of Surrounding yourself with some pretty amazing musicians, from the the jukebox sparrows yeah. guys to the guys you've been on the road with. Yeah, I've been highly um, fortunate. Of course, it was all um, almost an accident, you know. Well, I mean, the first session that you know it, it happened right in the first session of cutting jukebox sparrows. The kind of music that I wanted to make takes a certain uh, touch and uh, feel, and uh, that you know I didn't I didn't know that at the time, but it's a very uh, it's a rather highly advanced one, you know. It's a very <laughs> soulful one, and uh, he's, he, and oftentimes I have to go back to the originators. This is true. There are a couple yeah. of them on jukebox sparrows. Yeah, you know, and and it's so so many people, you know, we forget because we live in the cult of the young, you know, here in the in in our culture, you know. But um, really, you just get better the older you get. So I love playing with people who are just as good a musician as they come, you know, I don't care what they look like, you know, I'm not, I don't hire someone to come or ask, I, even using the word hire to me feels <laughs> ridiculous because it's like, <laughs> it's like, would you please come play with me? <laughs> you know, it's not like, can I hire you for the day? It's like, would you please grace me with your presence? Yes, just, just be there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, you know, would you, would you show me how to do this so that I know how to do it, you know? And it's working. Yeah, well, it's a transferable talent, you know. It's one I think you have to see in action to really understand it and, and, uh, and uh, acquire it, you know. I don't that, think well, you know what? Music, there, it's, 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 a, it's passed on. There, you know, there are some people I know who, uh, who would say that about you. There are some people who have uh, seen you, was it last year at the Saint? Was it part of their ninth, yeah, ninth yeah. anniversary? Week. Oh, that was a nice night. Yes, that was a lot of fun. Very nice night. Um, I think somebody came up to me afterwards, and uh, who is in fact a singer-songwriter from the area, and was just flabbergasted. Was like, "That's what it's supposed to be." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shannon McNally is our guest this evening here at ninety point five the night. Uh, your mom is a sweetheart. She is very, very sweet. Yeah. 
<laughs> so is your dad. Your dad is a bit imposing, but he's a sweetheart yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a bit imposing. And by, by the way, they're the stars of Bury My Heart on the Jersey Shore. Yes, they are. A, uh, a song that we've played incessantly. Oh, I love here at that. At 90.5 the night. Since, I love uh, that. Yeah. Since Jukebox Barrows came out. I and I think I've, I've told you this story. When, when uh, the EP that preceded right. Jukebox Barrows right. was sent out, somebody from Capitol had mentioned to me, wait till you get the album. There's a song called Bury My Heart on the Jersey Shore on uh-huh. it. I said, great. <laughs> I hope it's good because I can't not play a song like that. And then it turned out to be absolutely gorgeous and wonderful. Oh. And, and uh, people around here just flipped oh, for it. In that's fact, you, so you, nice. It's it, mission accomplished. It man. may not. Who cares if the rest of the country gets say. it or not? <laughs> whenever, whenever you come here, <laughs> you're going to be forced to play it. <laughs> that's fine with me. That's fine with me. <laughs> Although you've already played it here once, so I'm not going to ask you to do that again. Okay. But uh, did you want to play another one? Uh, sure, I'll play something else. Okay. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I'll play, uh, mm. play one called The Hard Way. All right. Here I stand, judged and bothered by a man with a feather around his neck. I traded his mismanagement. But I feel so bad, feel so sad You know I told me that I would I never learned nothing but the hard way Cause at the time it felt so good Yeah, a young mother with a nursing child Sat plainly on the ground She rocked and rocked that child To sleep sweet on her bosom brown But her eyes met for a moment And then she looked away Child cried out in hunger. There was nothing else to say. But I feel so bad, feel so sad. You never told me that I would. I never learned nothing but the hard way. Cause at the time it felt so good. Yeah, I dreamt I saw a bandit. He was pointing with his gun. Don't think it meant me well, no. It seemed my luck was done. The channel surface raised. As he shot the children down There ain't nothing that makes me sadder Than to watch my mother frown But I feel so bad, feel so sad You know it told me that I would I never learned nothing but the hard way Cause at the time it felt so good Oh, yeah. I know this guy He keeps asking to see my inner self He's looking, looking, looking Intent, baby, is this what you need? But I feel so bad, feel so sad. You never told me that I would. I never learned nothing but the hard way. Cause at the time it felt so good. Yeah, boy, fictitious characters inhabiting the earth, misplacing value. Tonight at the St. Nasbury Park. So ShannonMcNally.com is the best place to start to find uh, not only Run for Cover, but also uh, Jukebox Sparrows. Yeah. And 
Ran on Pure Lightning. Ran on Pure Lightning, which was a wonderful record Golden with you Paradise, and Neil. Golden Paradise, thank yes. you. Um, yeah, there's, and, there's four or five things mm-hmm. up there. So you want to play us out with one? Ah, uh, sure. Or am I pressing my luck? No, that's fine. Let's see, what should I do? Uh, have any requests? You want to hear? You want to hear another totally new one that's not on Geronimo either? No. It's fine with me. I don't know if I want to play it though. It's really <laughs> slow. It's really slow. I don't know how. This, this is still radio. I should take that into account. Let's see. How about I play? Uh, this is one I've been playing every night and really enjoy playing. It's called Weather Vane. As I walk through the valley, the shadow of death come across the main. His feet were planted in the ground, and his hat in his hand. He said, hey, lovely lady, won't you linger long and tell me a tale? A love song so sweet and evil that's fair. For oh, I've stood here so long with a vein. Raise your eyes, look at me, don't be afraid It's all in your mind, it's all in my skin that they took I lived this life of loss for you, you got at least read the book Oh, I've stood here so long With a vein of Public Radio, 90.5, The Night.